So guys, there was a point in time where sitting in your car and getting to play a full on multiplayer game was literally the highlight of owning a new Tesla. And while this excitement slowly died down over the years, combined with the global chip shortage, Tesla was forced to remove this entirely. And this was probably the worst decision ever because I personally think this is so much better than any of the pre-installed games on our vehicles today. But there seems to be some pretty good news now. It seems like the return of this is very possible and it's on the horizon. In early 2021, Tesla launched the Model S Plaid offering performance levels that rivaled some of the most expensive supercars in the world. This event was held at Tesla's Fremont, California factory where the company showcased various aspects of the car from the fresh exterior look to the newly designed interior upgrades. It also gave attendees a chance to experience the Model SNX in person with the opportunity to sit inside and explore all the updated features and beyond the more polished materials and improved seating, the two most noticeable changes are the yoke design and the massive 17 inch center display. The yoke was pretty much a love it or hate it experience while the larger center display became the centerpiece of the entire experience finally showcasing the long awaited steam integration. Owners can now connect their controllers, download games and play them much like they would if they were sitting in their very own living room an experience that was pretty much unheard of in any vehicles before. Now, with the excitement of Steam integration, it was expected that the feature would be available to all models equipped with the latest Ryzen CPU. However, as newer vehicles started rolling off of the line, it became clear that it was only limited to the premium segment. The worst news and the disappointment not only came from the lack of support, but also from the absence of the physical hardware required to run all of the latest games a teardown of the Model Y MCU board revealed that Tesla uses a binned version of the Ryzen chip lacking a dedicated GPU and more importantly, they have reduced the memory size from 16 gigabytes down to now just eight. This falls below the minimum requirement for Steam capabilities. So yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna say that I wasn't disappointed to know the fact that the only car that I can afford is no longer gonna support Steam games and I'm not gonna drop 50 or $100,000 extra just to be able to play games in my car. When the people who could afford it, honestly, they probably aren't the demographics that would want to play anything in their car anyways. So it kind of put it in a weird situation where it was heavily underutilized and Tesla known for removing features that are not used as much. They just scrapped it all together and that meant that from 2023 until today, no new vehicles produced have Steam integration and Tesla quietly shifted over to the Ryzen or the Bind Ryzen chip that doesn't even have all the necessary hardware to run all the latest titles. So here we are only playing the games that are pre-installed in our cars. Now, while all of this could have been the results of the global chip shortages, this was more likely a cost cutting measure to eliminate hardware that was rarely used. However, with some really great news, this decision may be very short lived as recent findings suggest that Tesla has started installing more powerful boards in its newer vehicles once again. A recent discovery by Tesla Scope, known for providing detailed vehicle analytics indicated at least seven Model Xs built in September 2024 and later were observed to support Steam integration. Although just about a year back, Tesla switched from the 16 gigabytes down to just eight gigabytes for their infotainment computer, it appears that the newer vehicles now once again incorporating the higher performance boards and the 16 gigabytes of RAM. And while this discovery is really great news and indicates that we could possibly be seeing Steam integration in the very near future, it still remains very unclear whether this signals a reversal of the decision or if Tesla is just simply using the remaining stock. Although Tesla scope confirms that there has been noticeable increases of this new board and just within this year alone, there has been many other vehicles having the new 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now in other news, a recent discovery by Green the Only on Tesla's 2025.8 branch updates suggests that three new undisclosed features are expected to arrive in the next couple of days. Codes within the update indicate the inclusion of a siren detection featuring a warning system that lowers the media volume when an event is recognized and this would be a user selectable option 
requiring microphone access from within the interior cabin. Another feature that hasn't been publicly displayed is the new navigation button which includes different routing options for supercharging destinations. A new map update will now display warning messages for high price locations and also suggest cheaper charging sites to help avoid busy locations. And last but not least, a tire fill assist feature is arriving with this update. While the exact details are still unclear of what it does, the most likely possibility is a live PSI counter with a chime to indicate when the correct PSI is reached. All of this is currently present in the public build and green indicates it could be enabled at any moment. Added to this, just earlier this week, Grok official account on X responded by itself to a post from Lars Moravi, the VP of engineering about improvements coming in 2026. An XAI employee suggested to Lars about having Grok integrated into our cars and within moments, Grok automatically responded with a simple response being on my way indicating that they are getting ready to roll it out. So yeah, there we have it. Just like I've mentioned in all of the past videos in this year alone, Tesla is going extremely hardcore on the hardware and software. And it seems like every other week, they're pushing out some sort of update, if not in the week. In this case, hopefully in a matter of months or hopefully weeks, we're going to be seeing some Steam integration, some much better games, things that are gonna be way, way better than Cuphead and Polytopia. Those are the games right now pre-installed on our cars that I think I touched one time ever since taking delivery and that was pretty much it. So those games are hopefully a goner and going to be replaced with something much better. 16 gigs of RAM, more than enough to run all the latest titles and we've seen it in the Model S's and Model X's. They do very well and those who really enjoy playing in the car with the immersive sound this is probably one of the best experiences that you can possibly get aside from your own living room. Now, this is just my opinion here, but I think that they're really preparing for the experience of unsupervised full self-driving. And this is where you can let everything go, focus on nothing but the game itself. You can sit in the rear seat, you can sit in the front seat and experience the very best even while the car is in motion. This is probably the best thing that the world has ever or is ever going to experience. This is gonna be coming eventually, there's no doubt about it. And it's just a matter of time when Tesla is going to incorporate all of this stuff into the car once again. Now, just like everybody else, this is really getting me pumped right now with the RoboTaxi launch coming out in June and then probably unsupervised FSD just shortly after. We're gonna be able to do so many things that we weren't able to do uh, while handling the car and having to focus on the road and yeah, this is just something that I think a ton of us are really going to look forward to over the next few months. I am going to be keeping a very close eye on everything similar to this and everything just in the Tesla realm in general. So I would love it if you guys stick around, hit the subscribe button, bell notification on Twitter, X, follow me, John E or Hey John E. Over there you guys will see things you wouldn't see here. I will wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.